Anyway, let's get the business news headlines now from MoneyWeb's Google Etium Fopi. Good evening. Pan-African ICT enabler, CECOM, has announced the appointment of Mark Simpson as its CEO. Simpson will assume office next week as Brian Herlihy, the current CEO, will remain with the company as a member of the board and take on the new role of executive director. Herlihy is expected to focus on strategic projects essential for CECOM's continued success. Almost 310,000 work opportunities have been created since the beginning of April. This is said to be in line with the terms of the expanded public works program by the Ministry of Social Development. Phase 2 of the job creation program will refocus resources to ensure expansion of further job opportunities in other programs. And South Africa's economy grew at its slowest pace in almost two years in the second quarter of this year. The stunted growth came about as the manufacturing and mining sectors slumped after strikes, boosting the case for interest rate cuts while denting the government's job creation hopes. Taking a look at the markets, the JC All Share Index ended up 0.2% at 30,365 points. The Rand is trading at 7 Rand 08 against the dollar, 11 Rand 49 against the pound, and 10 Rand 22 against the euro. Gold is trading at $1,829 an ounce, and a barrel of crude costs $115. <laughs> Well, Cuckoo, don't go anywhere. I know when you're next to David, it's very hard to leave the studio, but <laughs> you, you were at uh, you were in uh, Pretoria today. Uh, Midrand, actually. At Midrand. Gallagher, yes. I thought Telcom were, were uh, still based in Pretoria. It shows how out of date I am. But I suppose that happens when you live in a place like Moy River. Hmm. Uh, it, it was an interesting annual general meeting from uh, what you fed back. An interesting annual general meeting. Um, I must say a lot of people actually mentioned that the board was a lot more open with shareholders as they were uh, with compared to previous years. Um, another huge highlight was the fact that they made uh, mention of the fact that voice revenue has dropped substantially and is continually accelerating in, in, in the drop. And that HATA is actually going to be a key focus area for telecom survival. Well, they better, they better buck up because Skype is now becoming almost... Um well, uh, David, uh, you use Skype. Mm, yeah, I, I know yeah. people across all age mm, groups, mm, including David's age mm. group, are now So We talk to our grandchildren. <laughs> in America for free. <laughs> for free. <laughs> and if you think in the past, you'd have to pay telecom. Uh, so it's not surprising that voicemail is going down. I mean, we it, we on, on MoneyWeb use Skype very, very aggressively as well. I, I got a lovely...